Emily talks about whatever. Ding! Hi, I'm Emily Lane and I'm an actor. It's election season in a pandemic. I voted yesterday and today I'm going to tell you about my voting experience while I get ready for the day. I am currently voting in Fulton County, Georgia. So I made sure that I was registered to vote. And then I got online and found a sample ballot for my area and like what I would be voting for. And I'm going to include the TikTok I made about that at the very end of this video, if you're also Fulton County. I then researched all those people and to the extent that I was bored, I made sure I had the sample ballot printed out because you're not supposed to have your phone with you in Fulton County while you're voting. Like you can have it in your purse, but don't get it out. So have something printed that tells you who you're voting for. And it was also helpful with the sample ballot because it was in order and looked very similar to the final screens. Then I procrastinated and didn't do early voting for a week, but early voting has started in Georgia. It's Monday through Friday for certain hours and then also Saturday and Sunday. It's not like voting stops on Saturday and Sunday. I can't say that all the way up to the election, but I do know that for this past weekend and this coming weekend. So please look, cause you can go vote early and it's the exact same as voting on the day, except the line is shorter. The best thing that I realized was online Fulton County tells you how long the wait time is at each voting location. So I saw that the place closest to me had a 10 minute wait and I was like, I don't wanna do that. And then I saw that a place just 15 minutes away had a zero minute wait and I was like, I'm gonna go now, bye. When I got there with my ID, there was just one person in front of me, which was great. All of the voting machines were filled, but I was like second in line. Then we go to one table and they check your name, and give you this piece of paper and you initial and sign it. Then you go to a different desk and they take that piece of paper and they give you this little green card. They told me to go to any open voting booth. So then with a the little green card, I went to an open voting booth, put the green card in and started voting. They gave me this little pen looking thing that's really so you can poke the screen. So we have these like individual individual tech pins, pens, <laughs> Southern, to use to vote. So we're not all touching the screen with our fingers. So that's very good. And then they sanitize that after. My vote was as my sample ballot was. There was one additional person to vote for. And I was like, oh no, what do I do? And then there was only one candidate running. So I voted for them. There was also one role that nobody was running for. So at the end of my ballot, like when it was like, check these, it was like, there's one little thing in my bobber that's a problem. And I was like, oh no, it's probably that one that didn't actually have anyone available to vote for and I'm not writing anyone in. And it was, so that was good. And everything looked right on my for review page. And then I printed. So you print this piece of paper, you check that it's right but you're not really allowed to print it again according to the signs. You bring the green card and the piece of paper, your ballot that has like a QR code on it, to the, for me it was a guy at the side of the room in this library, I love libraries. He had me stand there and watch as my piece of paper was count, like scanned and counted. He was like, watch this screen so you see that your vote is counted. So about three seconds in, it was like, all good. That's probably not what it said, word for word. I was like, okay, great, I voted. I was supposed to put on a paper towel, the green card, and the voting pen. And someone was there sanitizing both of those. Then I put on hand sanitizer, and then I was given my sticker. And then I peaced out. I got in there at 5.08 p.m. on a Sunday, and I was gone at 5.22. I would say in the room, the library room that I was voting in, it was probably about 600 square feet. I would guess there were somewhere between six and nine voting booths and about eight poll workers inside of the space. One checking that people had their ID waiting in line. I don't wanna get anyone in trouble, I hope that's all right. In addition to the a number of people who can vote at a time, 
there was like probably like three or four people in the process of preparing to vote like in those lines for those tables. Target's busier, so I didn't feel worried. Everyone has to wear a mask and they just get out. Your voting time will be faster if you've done your research because well, <laughs> you can't research while you're there, but also you're like, I'm gonna click in order, get me out of here. I voted. So that was my voting experience. I'm so glad it was so fast. I'm so glad there was a thing that said how long the wait times are. Like, that's amazing. I'm glad that it felt safe, you know? I highly encourage all of you who are not voting absentee to go vote early and, you know, just do it. Thanks for hanging out. Go vote if you can. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for because I think you've already made your decision. But I know who I was not voting for. I hope that you guys all have an awesome voting season. I don't have anything else to say on that. <laughs> XOXO. Right. If you like this video, like, subscribe, or comment below. If you want to see what I've done on television, check out my IMDb. I'm also on Instagram at Emily Lane Official. Bye. Go to georgia.gov slash view dash sample dash ballot to find your 2020 sample ballot for Georgia. Scroll down. Hit login now. Go to the right. Actually log in. Fill out all of that information. Hit submit. Choose click here for sample ballots under your address and status information. In this red box at the bottom, click sample ballot nonpartisan and you will find your ballot. If you want to print it, note that the paper is legal size, so you will need to change your settings. Screenshot this information so you don't forget it and tell your friends. Vote!